A roadblock for drivers this Memorial Day weekend after Kentucky State Police closed Highway 55 for several hours Saturday morning after a Bardstown police officer was shot and killed on the on ramp off the Bluegrass Parkway on to Highway 55 at exit 34. This is the first police officer in the history of the Bardstown Police Department to be shot and killed in the line of duty. Father of two. Husband and seven-year veteran Jason Ellis was in his uniform, lying near a parked Bardstown police cruiser when a woman called 911 around 3 a.m. Saturday. The officer did not, had not called out on anything. Um, we believe he had stopped to ass either assist uh, something in the roadway. Chief Rick McCubbin wouldn't say how many gunshots hit Ellis. The 33-year-old was the only canine officer on the force but he did not have his dog with him. Ellis just got off work and drove a white Bardstown cruiser instead of his canine SUV. Air 3 captured the scene as investigators spent a lot of time in a nearby wooded area near the exit. The cruiser Ellis drove did not have audio or video recording. Emergency lights were on when the first officers arrived. The person who called 911 told officers she and another driver in a second vehicle couldn't take the on-ramp, so they got out to approach the officer after waiting a while. That's when they called 911. From above, Air 3's cameras show branches and grass ripped across the pavement. Detectives wouldn't say if that's connected to the investigation. We, we have all the faith that KSP will work alongside us to develop whatever information that, that we can develop. and. Um, I can assure you we won't give up on uh, this person until we have them either in custody or in the front sight of one of our weapons. And I personally hope the latter is the choice. A police department dating back more than 150 years, dealing with its first fallen officer killed serving on the force. Scott Atkins, Way 3 News.